also, Disney isn't happy about those wild AI Pixar posters. Here's what you need to know. On your internet travels, you've probably seen this, or this, or that, unfortunately. Artificial intelligence be wild in. Over the past few months, fans have been making their own AI versions of Pixar posters that would definitely not be allowed in theaters. Now, Financial Times reports what went on behind the scenes, and how this is turning into an actual problem for Disney. While it's impossible to outright ban these parody posters, Disney still didn't want any logo to be on things that could be be seen as offensive. <laughs> We're in copyright legal territory, so it could hurt their brand if someone sees this and assumes it's legit. After concerns were raised, the term Disney was blocked from being entered into the image generator, and users were shown a screen which said the prompt, the search terms used to guide the AI, was against its policies. One person familiar with Disney's approach suggested the media giant had reported its concerns about copyright or intellectual property infringement. Eventually, the word Disney was allowed again, but now the logo turns into a random soup of letters that doesn't really make any sense. You know what this is trying to say, but the fact that it's just so slightly off means that it's not official. Most fans can recognize that this isn't affiliated with the real Disney. And while the mouse wouldn't make a comment on the situation, Microsoft came forward with this. There is a current level of variability that may return different results from time to time as we continue to refine our safety systems. Additionally, artists, celebrities, and organizations can require quest to limit the creation of images associated with their names and brands. Now because we're still in one of the earliest phases of this technology, it's hard to moderate what's right and what's wrong. Making a parody is fine, but at what point do we draw the line? How much power does Disney even have? And will they be able to protect their family-friendly brands? I don't know. AI is complicated. We'll find out the answers to those questions in good time. As for these posters though, I doubt they're going away anytime soon. Disney can make as many requests as they want, but ultimately it's up to Microsoft and previously established laws. Either way, what do you think? How can Disney stay on top of this? Will they find more ways to limit AI for their franchises? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.